Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we're going to explain how to remove and replace driver side front CV axle on BMW F30, F31, F34, 3 series generation BMW from year 2012 to year 2019 guys. Before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. If you need to buy a new CV axle shaft, any parts, tools, we share the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well number two every single car we get at the shop we make at least guys two to three hundred free repair videos but specifically on this generation bmw we're planning on having more than 500 videos guys why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can so before we start let me tell you guys okay what we have here if you have a 3 series with that engine n20 n26 engine this is the 320 328 some of them are known for failing timing chains so we're going to explain guys okay what can cause that that, that can cause you five to ten thousand dollars guys we have a special video that explains that there is one that failed at eighty-seven thousand miles check it out and uh, if it happens it costs you five to ten thousand dollars to replace or fix your engine guys so we have a video that explains which vehicles are affected and how to remove and replace the timing chain okay on your own completely detailed video guys super long but very detailed as well people people really appreciate it so uh, let's go ahead start removing the front driver's shaft now we need to uh, actually remove a few things underneath wheel tire and then we can continue so thank you for watching guys and let's start on it now okay next step we are going to lift the car on our uh, little bitty uh, here lift uh, we will put the link in the description of the video below where we get our lift from so uh, let's go ahead lift it up now and uh, we are going to uh, work underneath guys for a little bit of time now okay let's go now so this is super convenient guys lift you can see very quiet quick lift it up enough to get a creeper underneath and do things under the car so uh, makes it super super convenient by the way okay it has two safety stops just jump the first one now it's going towards the second one all right perfect that's it okay so let's continue with the next step now so let's show you guys what we will be doing next okay right here that's the engine splash shield that we'll be removing okay this one the cover towards the back okay we'll show you uh, how to do that how to get everything out of the way if you need to so uh, we're going to get eight millimeter socket okay eight millimeter socket here and uh, we're going to start on it so eight millimeter socket and we're going to go ahead start on it now okay you can see we're towards the back that quick jack is amazing guys we'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got it from it gives you enough room to work on your vehicle so you can use it in your car garage at home because big big lifts you cannot lift it all the way they're really hard to install this one you can just move it wherever you need it to be So quite a few bolts that we're removing, you can see very very long splash shield. Alright. Perfect loose on that side, one more. Perfect, I think after that point we just have the ones towards the front that go towards the bumper actually. Okay, I'm gonna support it with my foot a little bit so it's not hanging, not to break it, right? And one more. 
Careful, always use eye protection because there is sand and dirt dropping here. Okay, let's pull it out. Okay, that bottom piece came out just like that. So now for the transmission guys plus shield, okay. Uh, we need it to remove the other one, okay, so we can get to this one now, otherwise you cannot remove it. So, uh, two bolts with 10 millimeter socket, okay. Two bolts with 10 millimeter, we're removing now. Wow, and the other one is all the way towards the back, check it out. Oh, those are nuts, let me see, was that a nut or a bolt? right there okay okay that's a nut nuts guys two nuts with uh, 10 millimeter okay now we need to get the 8 millimeter and we have uh, quite a few that we need to remove here all right So we're almost there. I think we have three more. Always watch your eyes. Things will fall, dust, dirt. Support it with your leg if you can. Show your socks. Okay, and the transmission splash shield. Okay, you can see guys came out. Okay, just like that. So once we remove the engine splash shield, the transmission splash shield, we can actually get to the engine uh, shield guard pan, guys. Okay, so 13 millimeter socket, okay, and we pre loosen some of the bolts so we can, guys, save you time, not to watch us uh, take them forever. So, okay, you can see where the bolts are located. That's a very, very handy impact. I'll put the link in the description of the video below, guys. You can see where we got it from. It makes your wife so much easier. All right. And that's uh, that engine pan shield guard, guys. Okay, came out. You can see it just like that. So we're on the driver's side now, we're going to remove the wheel. If you guys have uh, wheel lock bolts, the special bolts, and you don't have the key, we actually have a special video that we made that explains how to remove them. So check it out, how to remove wheel lock bolt on BMW. On the last one, always hold the wheel because it can drop. We're in need of new tires, guys. They're bad. So if it's stuck, just give it a little bit of tap. You can gently kick it. You have to like, kind of like hold it with one hand. Okay, because it's going to drop. Okay, let's see how stuck this one is. Oh. Okay, you hold it, I'm going to kick it. Okay, let's turn it this way now. This is stuck guys, it's stuck really really bad so <clears throat> what we're going to do we might actually apply a little bit of penetrating spray here and i think that will that will break it loose so if the wheel is stuck you can use guys that interphone spray it's amazing amazing penetrating spray spray it okay between the wheel and the tire okay wait about 10 minutes and uh, if it doesn't come off we have a special video that explains how to take a wheel that is stuck off a vehicle uh, and it will explain everything how to safely remove it we got our loose so it's going to come out check out all the deposits that we have all that needs to be cleaned later okay otherwise okay that will happen again in the future so uh, we is off we can continue now okay with the next step so now guys once we remove the wheel that's the bolt for the cv axle that we'll need to remove it's uh, with a hex key number 17 pretty pretty huge uh, pretty huge too guys so uh, if you have a lot of rust okay get it in and hammer it okay to make sure it gets in good okay you want to hammer it that way okay make sure that it sinks all the way in now i'm gonna have the person okay 
Uh, turn the steering wheel a little bit to the left so I'm away from the bumper. Let's turn a little bit to the left and we'll have a person hold the steering wheel, guys. Okay, and the brake pedal. Let's hold the brakes. Okay, and I'm going to get with my foot. Okay. And the brakes need to be held more. Okay, check it out. That's unbelievable. Okay, it came loose. One second, a little bit more. Now, okay, it's all the way in. Now I'm going to step on it again. At that point, we're loose. We can let go. Now, you will see, uh, we want to show you something, guys. German engineering, guys. Amazing, amazing. Due to the fact, okay, you will see what's inside now. There, there should be one O-ring that prevents water, salt, okay corrosion to happen inside the boat so let's see if that's the case now all right this thing right here guys prevents water salt to enter the boat and mess it up so you can see whoever invented that design it's great so okay we are done here now so Go ahead, turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. Okay, now guys, if you notice, okay, we want to show you something here. Okay, let's get the head out a little bit, perfect. That uh, sway bar link, okay, will need to be removed because it will be in the way. We will not be even needing to disconnect the suspension, the wheel help or anything like that. It will come out, we'll show you the secret, but you need to remove that sway bar link. Now, if your car is on a lift guys or lift you have the front two tires lifted all the way in the air you will have no tension on the sway bar link but if you have only one side jacked up of your car you have an enormous amount of pressure on the sway bar link so after you remove the bolt the nut you will need to use a pry bar to get the tension out and get the link out but we're using that quick jack guys uh, i'll put the link in the description of the video below where we got ours from it's amazing amazing too and you can see where you can get it from it lifts up the car enough for home use to be working on it guys underneath it and it makes everything so so convenient so we sprayed the nut with a penetrating spray interphone this is one of the best on the market that we used we're going to let it soak we need to get a 16 millimeter socket and we need to get a torx i think it's torx 30 start looking big okay for the stem because once you get the, uh, the nut loose what will happen okay that stem will start spinning as well and you want guys okay to hold it okay so that way you can remove the nut so 16 millimeter socket big tools this one will be tight and it will start spinning after that so that's what we will be doing next let's get the torque sturdy i think it's sturdy let's see which one is this or it's smaller this is actually 27 so let's get 30 next one bigger this one will will slip i think so if we get the 30 okay this one is 30 let's see if it fits first yep right on the spot but let's just okay clean it good hammer it you can get with the wrench over it okay and at that point you can turn the wrench okay or you can turn the stem it's recommended to turn the wrench actually guys but if you want to okay especially on the old uh, older sway bar link it's easier to turn the stem as well if they're really new tight you might have a hard time doing that as i said our car is lifted in the air so we have no tension on the sway bar otherwise if you have tension once you remove that nut you will need to place a big bar and push the sway bar down so you will not have pressure on the link and then pull it out of the of the suspension strut perfect this is out next let's go ahead get it out you still may have a little bit of tension okay let's turn to the right to the left excuse me and you still have a little bit of tension not much but i'll be able to do it by hand okay perfect now we're going to turn all the way to the left guys i'm going to go underneath okay i want to show you now you have to be careful here okay let me just get under the car quick with the equipment okay 
You have ABS sensor that you don't want to damage. This is your ABS sensor, guys. Be careful. So if you come out here, okay, the CV axle will come out. Then you need to come around the CV, around the ABS sensor. You kind of like need to position it up a little bit, all of the way. And then you're going to get the axle out. You can compress it a little bit if you need to. Okay, let's see. We might need to turn the steering wheel more. A little bit more to the right. Okay, it's good now. So let's go ahead and see what else we need to do because we need to get it out of the transmission side now. So this is the CV axle. If you come to this side, that's your front differential right here. Get a big flathead screwdriver, a hammer, and you need to hammer it out. Make sure that it's not stuck somewhere. Okay, one minute, one minute. It's stuck. I need to lift it up a little bit. Okay, now let's go ahead. Okay, guys, okay, before we continue, okay, you're going to leak differential fluid out. So you will need to drain your front differential. Okay, we have a video on the channel how to do that. If you want to see, check it out. Otherwise, you're going to leak all your fluid out and it will be a big, big mess, believe me. So uh, we're going to go ahead now. Okay, let's go ahead. if it's gonna come loose okay it came loose now it's good we don't have oil so we need to come out now okay it's a big mess here okay we don't want to hammer too much because we're going to break the seal let me turn the steering wheel if i can more to the left perfect all the way to the left now i'm going to come this way one person is going to push it out of there don't pull on it because you can get the okay the inner CV join out okay and pull it out this is it guys you can see CV axle shaft on the front driver side removed guys so that's how you guys remove driver side uh, CV axle on BMW F30, F31, F34 hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out if you need to buy any uh, we'll share guys the link in the description of the video below where you can check it out hopefully the video was helpful I would really appreciate if you check this channel out electrical car repair life we have so much videos about fixing engine lights airbags diagnostics all that stuff on BMWs guys and information that can save you thousands of dollars thank you for watching and see you guys next time